Welcome to SureSolve. This is Otanu Chaudhuri. Today we'll explain the solutions of the first five questions in the 10th problem SCC CG level solution set 1 on Algebra 1 as published in SureSolve.com. We'll explain the solutions of the rest of the questions in the set in the part 2 of the video. You'll get this part 2 of the video in our channel. Let's see the first problem. The first problem is the value of 1 by a square plus ax plus x square minus 1 by a square minus ax plus x square plus 2x by a to the power 4 plus a square x square plus x to the power 4 is option a2, option b1, option c minus 1 and option d0. This is an addition of three fractions. The fractions are algebraic but still the rules of addition of fractions will hold. To combine the terms, we'll have to combine the denominators. In the first two denominators, we notice that a square and x square appear. But in the third denominator, a to the power 4 and x to the power 4 appear. So it's clear that the first two terms are to be combined first. This is the first decision. Now we notice a pattern. In the first two denominators, all the three terms are same in value. But only ax is opposite in sign. Just see. Ax is positive in this denominator while it is negative in the second denominator. It is a clear case for applying the most frequently used algebraic relation p plus q multiplied by p minus q equal to p square minus q square. Here p is a square plus x square and q is ax. So the result of the product of the first two denominators will be a square plus x square whole square minus a square x square. We will simplify it further to e to the power 4 plus a square x square plus x to the power 4. This is same as the third denominator. It is not surprising because the choice values are purely numeric. So the denominator of the result is same as the denominator of the third term. We will just add up the two numerators. The numerator of the result of combining the first two terms with the numerator of the third term. What is the numerator of the result? It will be just minus 2x. So the result will be minus 2x divided by a to the power 4 plus a square x square plus x to the power 4 plus the third term 2x divided by a to the power 4 plus a square x square plus x to the power 4 equal to 0. The two terms will cancel out. The answer will be option D 0. Option D 0. The solution could be easily carried out in mind. Let's see the second problem. The second problem is if x cubed plus y cube equal to 9 and x plus y equal to 3, then the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 is option A 81, option B 32, option C 27, and option D 17. The values of two expressions are given, and the third expression is to be evaluated. We can see that if we multiply x cube plus y cube with x plus y, we'll get the two terms x to the power 4 and y to the power 4. But there will be two extra terms. Let's show you x plus y multiplied by x cube plus y cube equal to x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. There will be two extra terms which we will combine and express as xy multiplied by x square plus y square. This will be equal to 9 multiplied by 3 that is 27 equal to 27. So if we find the value of x y and x square plus y square, we'll get the value of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. But we always try to reduce the number of items that is to be evaluated. With this goal, we express x square plus y square as x plus y whole square minus 2xy so that only x y is to be evaluated. So this is transformed as x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 
27 minus xy multiplied by x plus y whole square minus 2xy. x plus y is 3 we know. We won't put the value now. We need to find the value of xy only. To do this, we expand x cube plus y cube in its two factor form. x cube plus y cube equal to x plus y multiplied by x square minus xy plus y square equal to 3 into x plus y whole square minus 3xy. If you subtract minus 3xy from x plus y whole square, you will get x square minus xy plus y square. Now this is equal to 9 because the value of x cube plus y cube equal to 9 or 3 into x plus y whole square is 9 minus 3xy equal to 9. This gives xy equal to 2. It's easy to see. We'll put the value of xy and x plus y in the earlier expression we have got. So x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 27 minus 2 into 9 minus 4 equal to 27 minus 5 into 2 equal to 17. Answer will be option D 17. With proper practice, the manipulations and the calculations are not difficult to carry out and then. Let's see the next problem. The third problem is, for any real number x, the maximum value of 4 minus 6x minus x square is option f4, option b7, option c9 and option d13. We have to find the maximum value of a quadratic expression. In such a maximization problem of a quadratic expression, invariably x square will appear as negative. If x square appears as positive in such a quadratic expression, the expression has to be minimized. We will follow a standard method to solve the problem. The method is to absorb the two terms in x in a perfect square. Let's show you. 4 minus 6x minus x square we have. We will absorb the terms minus x square and minus 6x in a perfect square. So this will be equal to 4 minus x plus 3 whole square. This much is sure because in x plus 3 whole square the x terms are x square and plus 6x. Take these two out of the brackets and these become negative. But there is an extra third term 9 which becomes minus 9 outside the brackets. So we have to add plus 9 to compensate this minus 9 inside the brackets. This becomes equal to 13 minus x plus 3 whole square. The method is simple to follow. In this expression, for any real value of x other than minus 3, x plus 3 whole square will always be positive and on subtraction from 13, the value of the given expression will be less than 13. Only when x equal to minus 3, the value of x plus 3 whole square will be 0. So 13 is the maximum value of 4 minus 6x minus x square. Answer, option D, 13. If you know the method, the problem is very simple. Let's solve the fourth problem. The fourth problem is, if 5 to the power root x plus 12 to the power root x equal to 13 to the power root x, then the value of x is option A 25 by 4, option B 4, option C 6 and option D 9. This is an indices problem and we find no way to operate on the basis 5, 12 or 13 to get the solution deductively. 
But looking at the values, we remember that 5 square plus 12 square, that is 25 plus 144, equal to 169, which is 13 square. So root over x must be 2 to satisfy the given equation. So x will be equal to 4. Answer option B, 4. Root x equal to 2 or x equal to 4 satisfies the given equation. The other way to get the result is to try out the choice values on x. This is a simple problem. Let's see the last problem. The fifth problem is if a plus b plus c equal to 0, then the value of a square plus b square plus c square divided by a square minus bc is option a0, option b1, option c2, and option d3. It's clear that by using the given equation, we have to convert the numerator of the target expression to a factor of a square minus bc, so that a square minus bc in the denominator cancels out, and the final result is a simple number as given in the choices. So our target is to express a square plus b square plus c square as a factor of a square minus bc. To do this, we will not touch a square because it is already there in a square minus bc in the denominator. We will focus on b square plus c square. When we look at the given expression, the way forward becomes very easy to see. a equal to minus b plus c squaring a square equal to b plus c whole square equal to b square plus 2bc plus c square. So, b square plus c square equal to a square minus 2bc. So, the target expression becomes a square plus a square minus 2bc divided by a square minus bc equal to 2a square minus bc divided by a square minus bc equal to 2. Answer option C. 2. If you follow the proper method, this problem is also very easy to solve in mind. You can read the details in our article published in showsoft.com. The link is given in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.